hello everyone welcome back to my channel luma moon tarot so everybody i'm here just checking into the energy what spirit wants you to know okay just take what resonates leave the rest behind and thank you so much everyone for um all of my subscribers thank you thank you all of the likes you guys all of the comments thank you so much i love you all all right so spirit what messages do you have for my beautiful collective messages for my beautiful collective okay somebody's doing a lot of daydreaming about you um yeah that's all that they're doing they're moving really slow too this person knows they need to make something right um, but they're moving way too slow doing it. This is someone barely moving at all. Like this horse isn't going anywhere. All they're doing is thinking about you, thinking, thinking. Oh my gosh. This is being very nostalgic. Um, thinking about old times, you know, how, how you used to laugh, the sound of your voice, um, the feel of your hair, right? Um, the way you hugged them, the times you've danced, uh, any memories that you've had together. I feel like this person is doing nothing but daydreaming about you, okay? They're very guarded, you know? They know they need to make something right, but they're afraid to. You may be picking up on their energy as well. This person could even be like infiltrating your dreams, you know that they want to they you know they want to come in with this love offer you can feel it um you can feel them about about to make their approach um they want this with you ooh 10 of pentacles 10 of cups full moon energy here it comes i feel like this person is going to make their move during the full moon okay um and we're in that energy now by the way um that is the full moon is on the 24th and usually the full moon energy, I feel it for about, you know, um, at least three days before the full moon and after, okay? Yeah, this person is coming forward. And that was on the bottom of the deck. You know, I'm getting the sense that they're getting a lot of messages. That's the feeling that I'm getting. This to me is looking like a twin flame soulmate connection. The, the magician, and I, I may be the only one out here who sees the magician card this way, but this is a divine masculine card for me because the masculines are excellent manifestors. And I feel like that's what this person is kind of doing with all of this thinking about you. And all of their, I mean, they're obsessing, they're fantasizing, they're remembering things about you. It's kind of like, um, it's almost as if they're trying to call you back in energetically. They want this union. They don't want to let you go. They want to create some kind of change here between you, okay? Planning. This is someone planning they don't know what to expect because there's been no communication between the two of you. But all this person knows is they want you back. That's all that they know. They want to reunite. Um, they see you as wifey. Or you could have been um, married to this person before and they want to come back home. This full moon energy, I'm telling you, it's going to make this person come back in. Okay, and this is someone that you've been in no communication with for a long time, possibly a couple years at least, maybe months, okay? You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be a Cancer, a Gemini. This person could be a Virgo, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah. They're coming in as a magician, okay? But, um, you know, honestly, it, it, they're making a plan to come forward right now and talk. They're probably planning their communication. Even though the magician card is out here, I'm not feeling 
anything weird about this person. Like, I don't see that they have any bad intentions yet. All they want to do is apologize. That's it. They want to come in and apologize to you. Because they know that in walking away from you, this person screwed things up for themselves. You know, I feel like they ghosted you. They walked away from you. They left you behind. Or at least they tried to. Um, emotionally, this person can't forget about you. <laughs> that you're all that they think about. But yeah, I feel like they could have been um, focusing on other people or other situations at the time that didn't work out. Uh, they are realizing when they walked away from you, they walked away from their from a blessing here. They could have had the Ten of Cups. They could have had all their cups filled. They could have had generational wealth, okay? You could already be in this energy where your blessings are coming in and your money's looking good and you're feeling really solid and stable, okay? And you're getting... Um, love from your family, close friends. Um, yeah, they see you in this energy already. And they know they missed out. Because it all would have started with your cup of love. You're the blessing that is you, right? You're the blessing. And a legitimate offer from this person. They could have had everything. This is the kind of life that everyone dreams of having. And they're daydreaming about it now. Okay, and that daydreamy energy is really intense manifestation energy coming from a powerful manifester already. They may not even realize that they're doing this. Um, they may not realize that they're manifesting. It's like they're pulling your energy back in or they're manifesting an opportunity to come in and apologize. Okay. You're not expecting this. Yeah, see, they're laying here. This is somebody taking a breather for a minute, right? This is someone like counting to three, and then they're going to pick up this sword, and they're going to communicate. Um, I can also see this as someone um, who could be rehearsing what they're going to say, like in a mirror, okay? <laughs> you could be dealing with the Pisces. Yeah, this person doesn't know what to do. This is they know they know they need to explain because um, and they they know that you may have some things to say about this as well because I feel like they put you in a third party and juggled you for a couple of years. Okay, maybe waiting for the right opportunity, wondering is this the right time to come forward? I feel like. Um, they have a lot to explain. They need to explain why they betrayed you, why they sacrificed you in a third party. This is all this person can think about. They're taking a moment to look at themselves and try to figure out what to say. They're having to look back on everything, and uh, like not just the fond memories, but the way that they treated you as well. That three of swords here in this clump, it tells me that you were put in a third party and betrayed. And these are the things that they're thinking about. Will you even give them another chance after what they did? They're looking at themselves. I feel like this person is angry at their own reflection, okay? You know, it's, it feels like they'll, uh, they're rehearsing what they're saying to you and then they kind of look at themselves and they're like, who am I kidding, right? Who am I kidding after everything that I've done? Is, the, is, is what I'm saying, is this apology going to even work? They, they're stressing out about this. So this is someone preparing themselves to come towards you, collective. Yeah, they need to face that sword. They need to face that sword. They may even be planning on, um, like if they put you in a third party, if they chose someone else over you, they could even be planning on um, breaking up with someone at the same time, okay? I feel like they have betrayed you and they need to face your sword. They need to face you and, um, and face your truth about the situation 
and take accountability. And this person needs to mentally prepare for that because they are scared. They may even confront someone else and tell them that they want this new beginning um, somewhere else. So I feel like this is someone who's ending something and preparing to come towards you at the same time. Yeah, they want their earth angel. They may be trying to balance out their emotions right now, you know. I feel like you're the one that they want. And I feel like you're a divine feminine and this is a twin flame soulmate connection. Yeah, see, they, they put you out in the cold collective. They did. This is a person who they didn't think you would accomplish much in your life or they didn't know your worth and value for sure. They put you out in the cold and they watched you struggle with this. And now you may be over this person. You're very balanced in your emotions. Like you're not feeling emotional. Okay? You could be a Sagittarius. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Wheel of Fortune. Here it comes. <laughs> Sometimes when I see the Wheel of Fortune, I look at it as a wild card. And I, I kind of, I felt that. Um, I'm like, oh, I'm thinking to myself, anything can happen. And then all of a sudden, the communication card comes out. Um, we don't know where the, how this is going to turn, right? The Wheel of Fortune, it, the, that wheel turns, but we don't know. We don't know which way it's turning, okay? Um, I feel like um, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor when it comes to your blessings. But here, it's, it, it's kind of given me this one last shot for your person to apologize and make things right. And, and this is like a wild card. We don't know what's going to happen, okay? It could go one way or the other, but you're about to get this communication, and this communication can bring about change, okay? This is an opportunity right here. This is an opportunity. So you're about to have a choice to make whether you want this person back or not. They're coming in to face that sword, they're coming in to face your truth, and they're coming in to give you the truth. You're going to get this communication. They're about to take this action towards you, collective. So, And I honestly, I don't think you're expecting this. Okay? It's been a long time and no communication, but I'm seeing this as a big yes. They're coming in to talk. Can they rekindle this? Can they restart this fire, okay? Can you guys get that feeling back? Can you get that loving feeling? Yeah, I'm hearing, bring back that love and feeling. Whoa, that love and feeling, right? Bring back that love and feeling because it's gone, gone, gone. And I can't go on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know who does that song, though. Was it Hall and Oates or somebody? I don't remember who does that song. But, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what they want. They, they're hoping that this talk, this chance, this opportunity can bring back that love and feeling. Okay? That's what they want. They want to rekindle this. They want to reignite that passion between you. They want to know if, if, we, if this can have a redo, a restart. Okay? They want to light that fire again. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, they're really stressed out, though. This person can't stop thinking about you. This could even be you after your person apologizes and wanting to know if there can ever be another chance. They could actually have you kind of up in your head about this. This could go either way. Okay, with this Wheel of Fortune, this is like chance. Okay.
Yeah, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person's going to tell you they're in a whole lot of regret. Okay, they're going to tell you that this has really changed them, and now they want their empress. Okay, they're going to tell you that they've grown, they've bossed up. They want another chance. This king of wands, this is someone who takes that action towards what it, what it is that they want with a passion. Okay, that's what this is. They're going to be kind of begging for your forgiveness here, collective. Okay, but they're going to tell you they've changed and they want this. They want this forever. They want their blessings. They want their ten of cups, their ten of pentacles. They want their empress. I'm telling you, this is a this is like their last opportunity. But this with the with the ace of pentacles and the wheel of fortune out here, the ace of swords, the ace of pentacles, the ace of wands. I'm telling you, this person wants a redo. They want a fresh start. The only thing I'm not seeing out here yet is the Ace of Cups. It all has to start with that chance, right? With that blessing. Yeah, waited so long. See, I, they're, they're hoping to create another Ace of Cups energy, okay? After such a long wait time. They're hoping you guys can work together on that for that Ace of Cups. They're hoping this apology is going to work, okay? They're going to tell you they're feeling like a fool. They want a new beginning. Yeah, man. This person's ready to come forward, collective, so get ready, okay? They're, they're going to be like, you know... If we both give to this, if we both work together, we can have that, that Ace of Cups back. All right? Oh, Collective, get ready. You're going to have a decision to make, okay? And I do see this person, like, wanting to grow, okay? They don't want to miss... Yep, you're about to get a message. You're about to get that communication that you've been waiting for. I feel like um, you stopped waiting for it. You're trying to move on, right? You're like, I tried to clear that energy out. I don't want to. I don't want to keep thinking about this energy anymore. So you're in the process of releasing this, clearing out the energy. You could be doing like a home cleansing as well, cleansing your energy as well. Yeah, but see, I feel like you're kind of thinking about this person too. Or you can, clear, you can clearly pick up on their energy. You know they want to come forward. You know they want this back with you. Okay? This is a strong connection. I feel like it's a twin flame soulmate connection. The emperor and the empress, that's a power couple. I've got that divine masculine energy out here. You know, I feel like, um, I feel like this energy is this, um, where is it? It's this energy here. Your person taking a breather, thinking about what they're going to say, trying to plan their communication, okay? I feel like that's what this is here. But they're about to come forward because um, you're the person that they want. Okay, look, and this person is going to tell you that they've grown. They've grown into an emperor, okay? They want to be loyal to you now. Just as you're moving forward, I feel like you need to use your intuition with this person or anybody that comes back from your past. Okay, because right now you're in the process of leaving this person behind. You may, you may be doing better right now in life without them. I mean, you're already in the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups energy. Okay, so 
um, and you've already been crowned. So you may, um, you you may already be made making plans for your future that don't include this person, but they're coming in, and they're going to tell you they've gone through a transformation. They're going to tell you that everything's changed. They've changed. Um, they want this to change. Oh, collective, get ready. I feel like this may end up being a, a difficult decision for you, okay? So just prepare yourself for this communication coming in. It could literally change everything, okay? Anyway, my darlings, that's what I've got for this reading. I hope this helps. You're going to have, I feel like it's going to be a hard decision. You may, not, you may not realize that now, but when you have this person right in front of you, on their knees begging for forgiveness and telling you that you've changed, I feel like at that, or is telling you that they've changed, I feel like at that point, it may become a difficult decision. So just prepare yourself for this, okay? Um, anyway, my beautiful collective, um, thank you so much, you guys. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you like this vibe, right? And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.